out there just far enough to find the outfielder's glove. And that means that both runners, neither of whom were running on contact, are forced to head back to where they started. Matt Holliday swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Wow, no chance of getting on top of that fastball. I mean, that's helmet level right there. Got Holliday a little froggy on his front foot that time as this is pulled foul into the seats and left. And he swings and hits this ball high in the air and deep to left center field. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Cards strand a couple. Jay Bruce will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Devin Mesoraco will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Pitch inside the throw, and it goes to third. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at one and one. And after you move a guy off the plate, and you know he's all worked up, that's a... Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. Zach Kozart will try it again. He was thrown out trying for a double his first time. Now here's a bouncing ball sent back up the middle, and it's going to find its way into center, his second hit of the afternoon. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count, kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in, and you jump all over it. And it looks like we're going to have a move for a pinch hitter as it's the left-handed hitting Skip Schumacher that starts to loosen up in the on-deck circle. Runners off for second. First pitch of the at-bat is lifted in the air out to left. And this is taken in by Holiday. One away now. Billy Hamilton will stand in. He tripled in his last appearance. And a bunt attempt is missed, but this is off the catcher's glove. And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And stepping in the second baseman, Brandon Phillips. That's in there. Base hit. Joey Votto will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. First pitch on the way. Runner goes for second. But well, this is speared by the first baseman. And he'll step on the bag himself for the double play. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and no one left. Pedro Villarreal will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. John Jay will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Adam Wainwright will get the call to bat for himself here with his guys up a run here in the sixth. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Aroldis Chapman is going to get the call here in a surprise move. I mean, this is the sixth inning. 
That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Up high, two and one now. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. And this is fouled back and out of play. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Hamilton is there now, and he has it, two gone. Jason Hayward will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. And this is going to be a foul ball. Boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Uh, and he's always so tough on left-handed hitters. That slider is just so difficult to pick up. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will... Todd Frazier will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. First pitch of the inning here is wrapped right back from where it came, and that'll get into center field for a leadoff single. Marlon Berg will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Runners on the move for second. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. They'll try it again from first. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. of a curveball here as this is bounced on the ground to third. A tag for one. Throw to first, not in time, so they'll settle for one out. Jay Bruce will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. You guys surprised at all that that man doesn't have the bullpen going yet? Well, he's showing a lot of faith in his... And it goes to third... Ball grounded towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Got to say, for a strikeout. Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And this is low, but Molina's able to prevent it from getting away. And a near disaster there, but he's able to recover in time and make it back to third safely. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. Now the tag by Molina, but it comes too late. He's in there to score. Well, you know he's trying to protect that one-run lead. So he decides to come home with this thing, but... Now, not only do you not get the out of the plate, but you also don't get an out, period. Pitch outside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Fouled straight back. And this is bounced weakly down the line. A foul ball. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. Seventh inning coming up. 
And we are all even at six apiece. Colton Wong will stand in to lead things off here in, can you believe it, a tie ball game again. Yeah, this thing has had more ups and downs than my 401k. And I've got a feeling we've got some more to come. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. He'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Matt Carpenter will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. On to first, and there were two down. Mark Reynolds will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Mark Reynolds. And this is fouled back and out of play. Fastball driven on a line out to left. This is going to split the gap and get down for extra bases. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be a 1-2-3 inning, but now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And now they've got a man caught out there. And he is out at the plate, trying to take the lead. But this game's going to remain deadlocked as the inning is over. So they pick up no run. Brian Pena will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Back on the hill is Wainwright now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing and one. Hard to believe that this man is out there for a seventh inning of work given what he's been through so far. Just a glutton for punishment apparently. I saw enough three innings ago. But apparently he's back for more. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And Holiday's got this one, and there are two gone. Brandon Phillips will get another crack. One for three thus far. And there's the good fastball that time from Wayne Wright as he gets ahead 0-1. And, and even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Ball game! A solo home run for Brandon Phillips. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top player of the game. Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award to three or four different people, but you definitely can't overlook his contribution. He really played a great ball game. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.
for more, get those smartphones and tablets.